right, gradient of AB, the gradient formula is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So the gradient of AB, A is the point minus 4, 7, B is the point 2 minus 1. So there's my x1, y1, there's my x2, y2. So the gradient of AB then is minus 1 minus 7 divided by 2 minus minus 4. Top line goes to minus 8. Double minus the plus, the 2 add 4 is 6. Both even numbers, so I cancel that down to minus 4 thirds. Part B, the coordinates of C. C is the midpoint of AB, so the midpoint formula. It's the only formula with the plus in, so it's x1 plus x2 divided by 2, comma, y1 plus y2 divided by 2. So substituting that in for x1 and x2, so that's minus 4 add 2 shared by 2, and y1 is 7 minus 1 shared by 2. So minus 4 and 2 is minus 2, divided by 2 is minus 1, and 71 is 6, divided by 2 is 3. So the coordinates of C is minus 1, 3. Part C, show the equation of L. Now L is the perpendicular bisector of AB. So I'll just put a little sketch here. AB. And if I want the perpendicular bisector, it's a line that comes through, cutting the line in half, so it's passing through the midpoint of AB, and it's perpendicular to AB. So that tells, if I know the gradient of AB, and then get the gradient of L using the fact that the product of those two gradients is minus 1. So the midpoint of AB I've already done in part B. That's the C there. That's the point L is passing through, which is minus 1, 3. And the gradient of L. To get the gradient of L, it says perpendicular to AB. Gradient of AB was minus 4 thirds. So to get the gradient of L, I flip the, the 4 thirds up, upside down, so that's 3 quarters and change the sign, so it's minus for AB, so we've changed to a plus for L. So I want to create another line now, then whose gradient is 3 quarters, passing through minus 1, 3. So the equation of the line is Y minus Y1 over X minus X1 equals M. So that'll be Y minus 3 over X minus minus 1, so that's plus 1, equals M, which is 3 quarters. So I cross multiply here, use the bracket, so I have 4 bracket y minus 3 equals 3 bracket x plus 1. Multiply out as 4y minus 12, 3x add 3. So 4y equals 3x, take the minus 12 over, that's plus 12, so that's plus 15. And then just rearrange it in the format they want. So take it all onto the right hand side. So 3x, take the 4y over, that's minus 4y plus 15 equals naught. Then the point D lies on L. So D part 1. Uh, D, which is 7k, that lies on the line L. So that means that when x equals 7, y is equal to k, there's your x, y coordinates, so substitute that into the equation of the line here, so I have naught equals 3 times 7 minus 4 times y, which is k, plus 15, so naught is equal to 21 minus 4k, add 15, take the 4k over, so we've got 4k equals 36, so k is 36 divided by 4, so k is equal to 9. Okay, I want the length of CA and the length of DA. So CA, C is the coordinate minus 1. C is the coordinate minus 1, 3. And A is the coordinate minus 4, 7. So the length formula 
that's the square root of difference in your x coordinates squared okay which is your Pythagoras so that's equal to the square root of like there's x1 y1 x2 y2 substitute that in so that's 7 minus 3 squared plus that's the y those y's and then the x's is, is minus 4 minus minus plus 1 squared okay just change those around the other way there so it's the square root of 4 squared plus 3 squared plus 16 plus 9 square root of 25 is 5 da so the coordinates of d is 7 9 a is minus 4 7 using the same formula so that's the length of ca on that one so the length of da is the square root of 7 minus 9 all squared plus minus 4 minus 7 squared so that's the square root of 7 degree 9 is minus 2 squared minus 2 is 4 minus 4 minus 7 that's minus 11 square that is 121 so that's the square root of 125 now I, so as I can break that down I can leave it as it is but I can, 1, 2, 5 I can see that the square number divides into that 25 shares into that that's the same as the square root of 25 times 5 which is root 25 times root 5 which is 5 root 5 then part 3 I want the sine of a d c now then if i okay if i go back to the sketch i got okay a there's a there's b there's c okay that's the right angle there d is on the line l so d is somewhere there and i've worked out the length of ca which is five I've worked out the length of DA, DA that is 5 root 5, I want the sine of ADC, so I want the sine of that angle there, okay, call that theta, that's a right angle triangle, opposite hypotenuse adjacent, so obviously I'm using the sine formula. So sine of theta, which is the one I want, sine of ADC, equals O over H. So sine of theta is 5 over 5 root 5. 5 to cancel out, give me 1 over root 5.